Okay, now this is step two for DFP for small business publishers. If you haven't watched the first intro, please watch it first. Okay, so here we are in our dashboard here. Okay, we're going to go to uh, the DFP inventory tab, okay, and click on new ad unit for web. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to name this ad. Maybe we'll make it a, a 250 by 250 rectangle. I'll just abbreviate that on, I'll put A1. And you can put a description in here. Okay, the next thing is you want to choose the size. So what, let's go down here and choose 250 by 250 square. All right. Now this target window is if you want to open into a new window or to stay in the same one. We'll just, we'll have it open in a new window. Okay. Now we don't have anything in these boxes yet. Um, AdSense inventory settings, we're going to click the show, and then we're going to click override. Okay, we want text and image, uh, we can select the palette, open air, you'll notice that uh, the boxes will change over here according to the style. You could give it a different color if you want, um, you could go with ink or graphite or a blue mix. So we're going to, I'm going to put, leave it on the blue mix, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click save. Now if there's any uh, errors it's going to tell you. So the name contains invalid characters, only letters, numbers, and underscores, hyphens, periods, asterisks, forward slashes, backslashes, exclamations, left, right. Okay, so let me get rid of this and see what other errors I could generate. Alright, so I'm good. So I, I took out all the spaces. I see that as a 250 by 250 rectangle on A1. So I've already I made my inventory, okay? So now I'm going to go over here to placements. Okay? I'm going to select new placement. I'm going to give it a name again. I'm going to name it the same thing, 250 by uh, 250. And I'll put SQ for square, okay? You can give it a description if you want to. All right? And so now I want this ad included in the placement. Okay? So I put it over here, now it's included. Now if we would have made another uh, um, ad unit, we, they would have showed up right here. Okay, uh, Offer this placement uh, through advertisers, and this our advertiser is Google AdWords, so that's correct, that's selected. And we're going to scroll down here, and ads appear on, we're just going to put it on the home, home page. The ad location, we're going to put it on the right. Uh, uh, let's see here. There's middle left. Let's put top or the middle right. Okay, we're gonna put it on the middle right, and then you can give it a description. Okay. So now that you have all that, click save. Now it says we got fixed highlighted areas. We have to give it a description. So I'm gonna to say it's 250 by 250 rectangle AdSense. Okay. Now I'm gonna click save. All right, so we have that in there. We have our placement ready. Now the next thing we got to do is create an order. Okay, so we go over here. We select orders. Click new order. All right, and I'm just going to call this the the A1 Web. So I'm going to put it in A1WebsitePro.net. Here you'll select an advertiser, and the only one that we have here right now is Google AdSense. Okay and uh, you can put a label on it if you want, it's optional. And we'll go uh, A1 Web Net. That just describes to me where I'm putting it. Um, uh, the uh, inventory sizes, uh, let's see, I'm going to select the 250-250 square. I know I've been calling a square rectangle, I'm a little bit dyslexic. <laughs> Uh, you can add <coughs> more uh, sizes too here. So in the future, when you get more advanced, you'll put more sizes in there. You can add a label, um, allow same advertiser exception. If you want to know what these little things are, you just click select this. If you want this line item and other line items from the advertiser to be able to appear on the same page together. So if you don't want them to be able to appear on the same page together, uh, leave that unchecked. Uh, you can put some comments in here if you want, if you like. Okay, so here's here's the settings, uh, the type standard uh, network bulk pricing. If you're unsure what this is, 
you could go click on type and read the different uh, descriptions. Now here's the important thing, you have to put start time, we're going to do it immediately, and you have to set an end time. So sometimes I'll just keep clicking to the right here, click it a couple years in advance, and select the date. You can limit the uh, impressions. Uh, you can give this rate a percentage, like how many times you, uh, or the, well this is the, the for the US dollars. Um, so anyway, if you, if you put stuff in here, that's going to give you the total value of the ad in, when, in your settings. Whenever you first sign on, it'll t sh tell you what the estimated value is for the month. Uh, deliver impressions, uh, leave that on front load, or you could do evenly, like you want the ads to display evenly or as fast as possible. Um, you can display creatives, that's what we're going to get into next but uh, you could do uh, one or more or only one and we're going to leave it on one and one or more because eventually we'll ha want more ads within this uh, order and <clears throat> you can rotate creatives on the optimized value so that you get more money uh, more potential money uh, all days and all times you, you can edit this order to display at only certain times if you like um, and then you you scroll down here, and this is where all your orders are. So you click Show All, uh, include your ad units, and it'll it'll put put them over there. Your ad units, your placements. Uh, this is your 250 250 square ad. Okay, so that's your criteria, and then you click Save and Upload Creatives. This these are where the actual ads are going to be. Hold on, I got an error number cannot be smaller than one so let's put a hundred thousand impressions okay so click save and upload creatives alright <clears throat> so now I need to put a 250 by 250 ad see all this you, you think you're creating an ad but you're not creating an ad you have the, the creatives I don't know why they like to come up with these uh, <laughs> terms but this is where the actual ad is and you cl select a I'm going to select third party because this is what I do and I'm going to go to my my AdSense and I'm going to create an ad and I'm going to put it in here so let me go to AdSense ba boom and I'm going to go to my ads new ad unit 250 by 250 A1 net and I'm going to select my ad size, 250 by 250 square. And I'm just going to scroll down here and click Save and Get Code. Okay? I'm going to click in here once, right click, copy, click close. Go back to my double click, and I'm going to say 250 by 250 AdSense. I'm going to click it in there. Now, <coughs> It, they want you to have a click macro in there, so all you gotta do is go like that, and so that it keeps track of your clicks. And you can give it a label if you want, like. But I'm just gonna click save. Okay, and then I have to approve it. So I'm approving the order. Okay, so and then uh, it says we're having trouble forecasting inventory. So over over book this line item. We're still gonna get money for that ad. So. And people click on it so we're going to approve it because it's Google AdSense alright so here we are we have created that ad and we're ready to go so um, <clears throat> if you ever want to go back and check on it you just click on the name and you'll see that there's a 250 by 250 and it shows you the ad that's the creative these are the settings for it and then they'll give you a daily forecast whenever you insert it so now what you need to do is you need to get the code to put into your website. So over here where it says generate tags, click generate tags. And you want to include this 250, 250. If you had more, they'd be in there. Okay. So we only got one ad in here now. I'm going to click generate tag and you're going to get this. Now on every website there's what they call head tags. Okay. And if you're using a WordPress content management system, you'll put it in the header.php usually other similar content management systems have the same thing so you right click you copy this 
and you'll go to your WordPress content management system. Let me see here. Let me make my way to the header under editor. I'm in my WordPress dashboard here. And over here I'm going to click on header. And I'm going to scroll down. I had an old code in here. I'm just going to take it out. Okay. And what you're going to look for is this head tag right here, okay? And you want to go right before that head tag closes and paste that code in there. Okay? And then click update file. Now, you want to go back here and in the body, you want to click this, right click, copy it. Now I'm going to put this into a widget in my sidebar. So this is how the, the, the site looks now, okay? So I'm going to put it in a uh, widget here, text widget, and I'll tell you what, I'll take this one out since it's not going to matter anymore. I'll grab this text thing and I'll put it up here, home page widget one, click paste, and I'll put uh, this is the ad, click save, and I'll visit the site, it's coming up right here, and you'll see there's your ad, and that's being delivered from DFP Publishers, and that's how you get your ads in there. Okay, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm going to do a little bit more advanced tutorial on how to insert other ads into your DFP and get them displayed throughout your website. So stay tuned uh, on the tutorials. This is Max, your Google Website Pro Advisor. Thanks for watching.